Hey everybody, so we're gonna build a quick scraping flow on Zillow um, now that we have an awesome feature making it really easy to make this happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter this zip code just to show you what we're gonna build. Um, one challenge with scraping Zillow was being able to scroll down in these homes over here. So originally we weren't recording scroll down steps and uh, if you wanted to use scroll down, it was assuming you wanted to scroll the entire page which that works fine for things like this page, for example, where I guess you have pagination, but you're just scrolling down. But on this page, we can see that there's kind of a split, right? We have like this area going on, this area is scrollable, and this area is scrollable. It makes it really hard for the automation to know exactly where it should scroll. So we're gonna make this automation. We will scrape the, I don't know what we'll get, probably the price and the address, um, and that'll be that, so that we can demo the scroll down step. So in the Task Magic app, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new automation. And this is going to start on um, Zillow.com. We might run into some issues with Zillow uh, stopping us depending on how frequently you're scraping them. So a really good tutorial to look at is gonna be that cookie. Um, I'll make sure to note that that gets added in the description. Um, but if you're running into issues scraping Zillow, make sure you're adding cookies. That should help with uh, them kind of trusting you more. So once we end up on Zillow, I'm going to click the plus icon, record, and then type, and connect this to this input field. We'll confirm that, and then let's go ahead and record a click step. Um, actually, let's record our key press step now that we got that, huh? So record and then key press. And all we have to do is click into this input field. The reason we're clicking into this input field is because that's where we would have been um, when we did this key press. So maybe that makes click the easier one to do here. But if I just click enter, we'll see that that was captured. I can confirm that click and then I can test that click to make sure it's going to work. It didn't. Probably because it's on the input field. Let's go ahead and make this a click. I was very wrong. We'll leave it in though. Um, there we go, now let's test it. And this is why we added the test button. There we go, all right. Then record click and for sale. Thinking about it, that enter, that would work better with something like Google, I think where the input field and the button are kind of sharing the same thing. Anyways, we'll move past it. Um, this was clicking for sale. Let's go ahead and play that step so that it does it in the browser. We could also just do it in the browser, of course, too. Um, and here we go. Now we just need to scrape all the results over here. So I'll go ahead and click this plus icon. Now this is a bit confusing. Um, this might change a little bit, but we have two different scroll down steps. They're both the same. It just depends on your situation. So if you just want to scroll down the page and it doesn't matter about it being specific in a spot, go ahead and just add this step and then you're going to add the amount of seconds to scroll for. Now, if you need help capturing where that scroll should take place, or if you just wanna do it regardless, go ahead and click record and then scroll down. And then all you need to do is scroll wherever you wanna scroll. And you'll see that the found element is here. We can confirm this click and then let's add a couple seconds, like five. And then just to, che just to check that it got what we wanted, we can click the play icon and we'll see it start scrolling for us for about five seconds. Feels like a long five seconds. All right, and then let's go ahead and scrape those things. So I'll click this, scrape, list, and then let's get the address and the second one here. Cool, so I got 33, I think that was, yep, 33 results. And then um, does this have, so this also has links available. Um, so what we can do is let's go ahead and duplicate this column and then scrape the links and that'll give us the uh, link to that uh, home itself. And then let's just grab the price as well. So I'll do that one, that one, and that got 33. So 33 across the board, looks like everything was captured good. Apologies if you can hear uh, my neighbor being cautious of his surroundings. Um, but this is the scrape that we're gonna do and that is that. So hopefully you guys got to see the uh, Failure of key press in action shows you how to use it and when not to use it, um, even when you think it's correct, and then scroll down. So best of luck. Let me know if you guys have any comments. Let me know if you guys have any issues building the flows. Looking forward to it.